Welcome to Royal Vibe. Meghan and Harry will see William and Kate again when they pay their respects at Windsor. The Prince and Princess of Wales reunite with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex at Windsor as the couple continue to pay tribute to the Queen. The Prince and Princess of Wales, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, wore black as they walked past the gates of Windsor Castle. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex held up their fingers in tribute, and Harry at one point placed a hand on Meghan's back. Various tributes and discussions were considered as participants waved their hands in the crowd. Each member of the royal family was once considered to be discussed with the public with special honors. Afterwards, by the long walk of Cambridge Gate at Windsor Castle, William and Kate, Harry and Meghan prayed for spare cash on their mobile phones for a royal photo shoot in the countdown to 2020. Children could also be heard shouting I love William and those who lost the royal family expressed their condolences. The reunion came after Harry and Meghan angered the siblings' families in a recent interview with Oprah Winfrey. In January 2020, it was announced that Harry and Meghan would step back from their senior royal duties and spend their time traveling back and forth between the UK and North America. At the time, an action claimed that the cross was bad for William, who felt blind. Harry told Winfrey in an interview with CBS, I love William very much. We've been through hell together and shared experiences, but we're going our separate ways. He went on to say that William and his father fell into the trap of the monarchy. Relationships are secondary, and I hope time heals everything, Harry added. In an interview with Oprah Winfrey, William was pressed to refute his brother's accusations of racism against the monarchy. We're not a racist family anymore. In June, William and Harry attended Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee Thanksgiving. However, the brothers did not stay together throughout the game and did not appear as a group at the party. However, the death of their brother's beloved grandmother prompted them to step out in public as a mark of appreciation as they joined the wider royal family and the nation in mourning the country's longest-serving monarch. A spokesman for the Prince of Wales confirmed that Harry and Meghan were invited into their relationship with Kate, which could also mean that a line could be drawn between the relationship's past problems. The couple are neighbors of William and Kate, who have moved to Adelaide Cottage in Windsor, not far from Frogmore Cottage, where Sussex now lives. The 40-minute trip to Windsor came after Kensington Palace opened a touching and moving tribute to the Queen by William. On Thursday, the world was misled by a great leader whose loyalty to country, the rich and the commonwealth is absolute. So much will be said about his historic instrument of governance in the future. However, one of the grandmothers was found by mistake. I mourn his death, but thank you. I have benefited from the Queen's knowledge and trust for 50 years and my husband has educated and supported me for 20 years. The three teenagers are tasked with spending the holiday with him and creating memories that will last a lifetime. He was with me in my happiest moments. Once upon a time it was my face on the saddest day of my life. I knew this day would come, but it would take some time for it to become a reality, unless my grandmother experienced it firsthand. On behalf of my abilities, I thank them for the ability and dignity to maintain a social lifestyle that was once special but common to all of us. Grandma said that sadness is the price of love. All the misfortunes we experience in the next few weeks will be a testimony of our love for the lovely princess. The prince took a walk outside Balmoral Gate earlier, reading messages from people wishing blessings, seeing a planned wreath and seeing the entrance to the late queen's...